Okay guys, hello. I am about to do a couple uh, test cups. Um, if they turn out well, I am going to give them to my boyfriend's boss at work because it's going to be his company colors. I want to make sure my cup is sitting straight. I'm using uh, Tim Horton's cup underneath to uh, have it sitting on top so it can drip down. We'll move that one out of the way. I can double check, make sure it's a sitting level. Okay, level that way. And level that way. How about this way? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, um, I do have this wax stuff. I was going to try to like... I don't know, maybe I'll do it with that one after. I'll like paint this part with the wax. And my idea is to be able to pour the cup now, but um, not get that spot. You know what I mean? I don't think the tape's going to work. I've tried the tape before, um, and it still seems to get underneath the tape. So, yeah, I figure I can scratch wax off after if I don't like it or... Like, if I don't, like, once I'm done, I can scratch it off. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I also maybe was going to do the, the tops so that uh, there's a ring around the top that has no paint on it. Um, because everybody's telling me I should not be painting these cups. Um, that it's not exactly uh, kosher for drinking out of things like this, so I wanting I was wanting to leave a rim on the top. Um, should I try with tape? Hmm. No, I'll because this one's going to be for me. So I'll just do this one. I'll just pour it. Just like I did my wine glasses. It went all the way to the top. I didn't have an issue with it. But, um, okay. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I wasn't very polite. Alrighty. I've layered my cup. Black, silver, Yellow, black, silver, yellow, black, silver, yellow. Three times I layered it um, because when I did my wine glasses, um, a lot of it ended up on the on here. And then when I put it back in, it was all mixed up and it didn't yeah, look very good. So I went layered it up in the cup and I'm going, my plan is to use gravity to pull the paint down, you know. I'm just going to pour it here, around, around, around. Um, and yeah, I may end up painting the handle black or something. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't know why. Eh? I think I should stand up. Okay, because I am going to have to pour as I pull around, right? So... Didn't I? John. Okay. Now, I see some that spilled on the thing, so I guess I'll do what I did last time. I will pick it up, swipe it back in my cup, hope that it doesn't get too mixed up, and pour it again. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. Pick up the paint, let it pour down like so. You see that? Okay. 
Okay, just like when I'm uh, cleaning up the sides of a painting. Okay. Um, I can see under here that needs a, a little bit of a hand. And here, okay. Oops, I got a piece of plastic stuck in there. Okay, see a bit up top here. It does look nice though already, so I'm just gonna like tap my tap my palette knife. Okay, so that I'm not as, as so that I don't ruin it, right? Oops, don't want to be touching it. And I'm thinking there is enough paint to try and do that other cup here. Um, I'm going to take my cloth because I wanted to keep the bottom clear. As long as you get the paint before it dries, you can wipe it off, right? So, get at her. Alright. I'd say I'm doing pretty good for my first one, guys. Gotta say. And, and it's really hard, I'm noticing, to get the... Uh, that's why I had said that I might have to um, paint them black, where you hold it, the handle. I will have to uh, end up cleaning the inside maybe with like a uh, paint remover or like, uh, you know what paint remover is, right? Uh, what do they call that sh stuff, John? John? What? What do they call that paint remover stuff? Varnish, ven, what is it called? Barsol. Barsol? Takes your, cleans your hands of paint, stuff like this. Okay, I need to deke in front of you guys, sorry. I may check the other side. I need to... Okay, John, okay, man, I'm busy, man. Babe. Oh, 
Okay. Uh. All right, now. Okay. I haven't torched it. Find my torch. And I think it looks very nice so far. And since it's upside down, you do have to make sure that you don't have paint dripping. You don't want to end up with like a little paint looking drip thingy. Because you didn't check um, and make sure that you didn't keep dripping, right? Okay. And I will probably pick it up. Oh, what happened? Sorry, guys. I wonder how long it's been like that. And I will probably end up picking it up and flipping it around, like uh, putting it up on its bottom so that it's, uh, so that it will continue, uh, um, so that it won't keep falling, like, down, down, down. Um, it won't appear to be poured off paint, Do you know if you know, understand what I'm saying. Okay, I'm super excited about this one. Gonna have to move it. Okay. Make sure I have all of the paint picked up. And put back in here because I'm going to use it right now, guys. Back to back. Back to back. Okay, I'm super excited how that one turned out. It looks really, really nice. Okay, this one's going to be a little more mixed up than the other. But that shot glass fold did seem to be the right amount of paint for these two size cups. Just so everybody knows. Okay, now we're going to put this on again. Make sure that we're flat. This way. Perfect. My cup wasn't in the way. Okay. All right, guys. One more. Yep. Let's try this one more time. Um, actually, if I turn the cup like this, because it was hard to get at that part, I'll just leave it back there, and I will pour from this side. See what I mean? How it does pour differently now? And 
I've lost all my yellow. Okay, uh, like I said, the second one, it will always be more mixed up. See how that one's more of a silver cup? But that's okay. We'll give her a quick torchy pew for you guys. And it's more mixed up as well, I just noticed. I got a lot of uh, cells going on. Very much, actually. <whistles> Beautiful. Okay, now, it's just making sure everything's basically covered. Hayes, you're pretty pushy, pushing the door open like that. Okay, now I'm just wiping the bottom to get any excess paint that's dripping off. We will pull this cup back here. Make sure that it's 
sitting flat again. Alright, it's got two completely different cups. I wish I had more yellow because I dumped some more yellow on top of that one, but I don't, so looks like that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will give you a quick close-up here. Yeah. Very nice. And I think for my next cup, I will give it a base coat of black first to be sure that I don't see my cup. Or maybe I won't, actually, because I do want the design on the other side. Yeah, so, yeah, if I do that, the design won't be on the other side. So, um, I will let you guys know how these dry. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.